What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV back here for another announcement video. Mickey van der Ven is here people. It's been announced by Spurs this morning and the way it went uh, about half an hour ago as time is recording at uh, 12.30. Um, if you bring up the phone, they posted this picture with her eyes emoji saying uh, with Amanda van der Ven's fade gray, face greyed out, um, pixelated out. And we were like, who the hell is this guy? I mean, we <laughs> <laughs> no, no idea, no clue. <laughs> and then um, the announcement video came just a few moments after that. It's been pretty much a cut and paste of uh, a lot of the announcement videos over, um, over, the, over the summer. Yeah, it's literally the same thing over and over again for every signing, which is a bit frustrating because I missed a bit of creativity that they were showing at one point. Especially the other club shows, well, I like the creativity of the signings. They're just kind of copying and pasting, which look, it looks nice, but it's just a bit bland. Yeah, it's too like commercial. I just think they uh, they try, they want to announce it and try not to uh, be cringe. I guess that's what they're trying to avoid. Because yeah. maybe they did some stuff with like Doherty, didn't they? And they did some stuff with Bale. The Bale one was really nice. Maybe the Doherty one. I don't know. I thought I was funny, but maybe maybe they thought it was cringe. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. But um, here's the tweet 21 minutes ago saying, we are delighted to announce the signing of Mickey van de Ven. And then it says here, our new number 37. Mm. Uh, interesting he's taken number 37. Obviously, four, five, six all taken um, by various different players. Skip, Sanchez and Hoybier. Was there not a, like a lower number he could have taken unless he'd taken a shine to number 37 or something well, like that? Well, he used to be Carl Walker-Peters number. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sure he's a Carl Walker-Peters stand, 100%. Must former, be. Former left back for Spurs. You know? Yeah. Um, but look, I th look, I'm super excited about this signing, to be honest. Uh, 22 years of age. Um, the, 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 in terms of what he's going to bring to our back line, he brings height, he brings aggression. Uh, most importantly, he brings speed and recover, um, recovery pace as well. And I think that's going to be crucial crucial to how we're going to play when we're playing such a high line under Postacoglu when we're com committing a lot of risk to the attacking play um, we're, when we're pushing a lot of players forward it's going to be crucial that on the on the occasions when we are caught out and we're, when we if we do have a lot of possession on the few occasions we're um, we're giving up counter-attacks we're going to have someone like a van der Ven who has that recovery pace to get back in position delay attacks make tackles and not allow us to not get caught out as much as we have been in maybe in pre-season. You see we played with um, uh, Man City uh, down the years when they've had Carl Walker with his amazing recovery pace. And, and uh, I know it's been a fullback, but it's been such a valuable asset to stop counter-attacks and make sure they're just recovering the ball very quickly after they lose it. And making sure that when um, you're caught up the pitch and you there's many um, and all of a sudden you're being caught on a counter-attack you at least you have a player who's got extreme pace uh, at the back so he can cover a lot of ground a lot of space and he's also very comfortable in wide areas we've seen he can play left back he's played there for Wolfsburg so if he has to go into those areas against maybe a winger who's catching us out he's comfortable engaging them instead of, and standing them up and delaying them so I think it's going to be a fantastic signing for Tottenham I might look he's 22 he is quite young but I think the profile is exactly what we need and I'm super excited to get him alongside Romero yeah let's hope he takes to the Premier League like a duck to water like a certain other um, early 20 year old on the other side of North London but um, in terms of other players that have occupied the 37 shirt can you name me other players apart from uh, apart from Carl Walker Peters apart, apart from Carl Walker Peters 37 um... we've got we've had nine occupants of that shirt nine occupants how many how many of them been like main players uh, one, two... Well, two have been very big players for us. The rest... Very big? Yeah. Very the rest, big at 37? Yeah. They, they, didn't, they weren't big when they were 37, but they were big. Uh, they are big players for us. Was Kane 37? Kane, Kane is one of them. Yeah. And who else was 37? I'll just tell you. It was Danny Rose. Danny Rose? I don't remember him being 37. Yeah, Danny Rose was 37. Stipe... Uh, no, Stipe Pletikosa. Oh, yeah. Lee Barnard, Radek Cherny, Yannick Kamenan, John Piercy, and Peter Gain. So let's hope he has more of <laughs> has has more of an impact than those kind of players. Apart from Danny Rose and Harry Kane, I mean they had a fairly. Yeah, big I think Kane was thirty seven when he scored his first goal. Yeah, for us. he was. Yeah, yeah. But uh, look, I think it's a really good signing for us. I think they're going to complement each other really well, Van de Ven and Romero. Um, it's just finally great to get a, a centre back in, which we can all get behind and. Um, 
the kind of attributes that he does have, I'm just so excited to see it in an Angepool system, that searing pace, the aerial, the aerial talent as well. I think when you're looking at the back four now, the back four that's going to go into the new season, Emerson on the right, Odogi on the left, Van de Ven and Romero in the centre-back positions, they've all got physicality, they've all got height and they've all got quality as well. So I'm very much looking forward uh, to this back line and it's such a change to what we saw last season, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, last season... Um, our back line um, it was obviously the back three and the wing backs were pushed very high up but then when we're off the ball they're almost like a full backs it's almost like a back five and I'm hoping it's going to be a lot more aggressive this time round you know Dyer and Davis are not the most aggressive defenders that's not really their forte and having Romero and, and um, Van de Ven in the back I think it's also going to be absolutely crucial for Van de Ven to be sweeping up behind Romero when he does his, uh, his aggressive tackles and he's being on the front foot and he's chasing after things you've got kind of um, Van de Ven kind of the calm and composed kind of defender um, kind of mopping up after Romero if Romero on the few occasions that you know he does get bypassed he's getting beaten um, the, the attacker gets to the ball first before him and I'm really excited to see their partnership develop it's going to take some time for an underst understanding to develop but I really believe that these two players are going to have a brilliant um, understanding and a brilliant partnership together. I really think they're going to complement each other. Um, and I think Van der Ven on the ball as well. He has really good qualities. He's clearly got a very good um, passing ability. He's not shy about um, charging, going into midfield and, um, and carrying the ball. He's clearly very good at that. And he's one of these very few players who has just a brilliant mix of uh, amazing highlights, six foot three but amazing pace as well. Usually there's a give and take between the two, but you do tend to find, like with Haaland even, a player who's like a monster with like his height, but also really strong and really fast as well. And, and Van de Ven, in terms of centre-backs, there's very few who will have that amazing height, but also incredible pace behind him as well. Saliba's one example, but there's not too many who uh, go, go into that category. Well, let's have a look at the announcement on the website. If you just bring that on, it says, Van de Ven arrives from Wolfsburg. We are delighted delighted to announce the signing of Mickey van der Ven from Wolfsburg, subject to international clearance and work permit. The defender has signed a contract with the club that will run until 2029 and will wear the number 37 shirt. Born in Warmer, Netherlands, Mickey spent his early years locally with WSV30 Warmer before joining Volendam's youth team in July 2013, progressing through the ranks to make a total of 48 senior appearances, scoring twice. An athletic centre-back with 22-year-old earned a move to Wolfsburg in August 2021 and made 41 appearances for the Bundesliga side in all competitions, scoring once and registering three assists. At international level, Mickey has featured 11 times for Netherlands under-21 side, featuring in the Euros under-21 championships earlier this year. He was also named in the preliminary squad for the 22 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. So, does it worry you at all that he's only had one year at Wolfsburg? Look, there's with any transfer, there's always going to be some element of risk. And the fact that it's only one season um, is that risk. The, to be fair to him, it wasn't like he only played one season and he played like 20 games. He played over 30 games last season for Wolfsburg. So clearly very trusted. Um, and he made a big impression in that season. Um, it is a bit of a concern. What can I, like, that, that's just the nature of the reality of um, when you're signing a player who's just about breaking out and you want to get him before... Um, you know, maybe his price could double next season. So you've got to try and get him early. And that's the risk you take. You see Man United signing Hoyland after 20 games or so for Atalanta. Um, and, or, and, you know, they've signed him for big money. I think that's just the market at the moment. So does it concern me? Not really. But I think that's just the element of risk that you mm -hmm. have to take. And that, that, that's the nature of the beast at the moment. All right, well, there you have it. Mickey van der Ven has signed for Tottenham. It's all signed, sealed and delivered now. He won't be playing, taking part in any uh, game tonight in Barcelona so, because of the uh, work permit. And um, it'll be interesting to see what happen, how quickly that work permit can get done and if he can play a part in this weekend's game, the opener against Brentford. I really hope he can because um, I had nightmares of Eric Dyer playing alongside Kuti Romero this weekend. But uh, look, I think uh, it's a signing that all Spurs fans can get behind. It's a desperation of the centre-backs that we needed for so long. Hopefully, we can make another addition in that area of the pitch from now before the end of the trans window. But he is here, 50 million signing, 50 million euros. And
and uh, we'll see how he gets on. So big up Mickey van der Ven. Let me know your thoughts of the van der Ven signing in the comment section below. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come on you Spurs. Spurs.